Dun 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 dun. This is the truth. Dun 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 dun. The truth. This morning it's called the truth. It's true news. Already begin to regret the name a little bit. <laughs> Stuck with it now. Uh, let's see what's going on. Even the true news. Truths. Putin, West in new Cold War. Putin pictures with his top off, a mistake he made once. I don't know why he did that. I mean, that is real overt masculinity, top off behaviour. Unless you're in sort of like in Britain, in the first flicker of sunshine, in which this, like, you know, any small town, everyone will whip their top off. But I suppose the way it's been, he's got a fucking knife on him. I think what he meant when he did this top off thing is I'm like, I'm not some pussy, like, politician with a tie on. I'll literally kill you myself. Like, David Cameron. You wouldn't get this photo with him, would you? Like, right, I'm going into the Ukraine. I'm fuming. <laughs> right, so, but what I read from this is, don't fuck with him. Like, he'll do a nuclear war. He'll, he won't care. Look at him. He'll kill us with his leopard print handled knife if things get too heavy. But what is interesting from a news perspective is um, the trivialisation of the meltdown of our planet. Standoff in Crimea is going from Vlad to worse. Never uh, a situation too serious for a pun, though. It's not good when things happen in, like, the Crimea, because don't you sort of think, isn't that from school or something? The Boer War has restarted. The Crimea were Archduke Ferdinand shot. It's like, oh no, history is a cyclical thing. We're right in the middle of it. There is an acting contest happened yesterday to see who does acting the most well. This person here, done well. There's old Kev out of Coronation Street. Only just recovered from the accusations of pedophilia, he's decided to get involved in cocaine. Come on, mate. <laughs> Kev. His life is much more dramatic than Coronation Street. <laughs> Corry on, but this is your final chance. And also, the pun. They just love a pun, don't they? That's what they... I mean, this, uh, this item is called The Truths, so we can't condemn them too vehemently. But... Right, because like what I like with puns is like I like to because jokes it's a joke, you know? like like with uh, a pun I like to imagine it being said seriously because it's like imagine they're talking too seriously. Well, what happened in the meeting with uh, with Michael Lavelle about his coke problem? Well, we said, "Carry on," but this is your final shot. What you said, "Carry on," but well, yeah, I mean it's just coronation street, so we said, "Carry on." Well, don't you think we should like try and help him with his job? What's the point? He'll only carry on using it. Rihanna's boob, the sequel. Nice to see a pop star's boob. Why not? Some people have said that we should look at a broadsheet. I don't really ever look at the Telegraph. I still, to this day, feel sort of frightened of it. It's like a big sort of paper gravestone, isn't it? The Daily Telegraph. You're not good enough to look at me. What's it saying? Europe's peace at risk over Ukraine. Yep, I got that idea. Acting contest going well. This is another person from the acting contest. Poor children must act posh to get... A this is pretty weird, this paper. I don't see why I don't look at this big paper tombstone. Poor children must act posh to get ahead. Uh, but also, posh children have to act poor. Like, I see one the other day, he was incredibly posh, but he spoke like Lil Wayne. <laughs> I understand the word the kid was saying. <laughs> Working class children must be taught to think and act like middle classes if they're to get to the best universities. Peter Brandt, which sounds like a day-to-day -day name, the head of policy at Social Mobility and Child Poverty Commission, said children from poor homes need help to change the way they ate, dressed, and conducted personal relationships. That's literally everything, isn't it? <laughs> Eat. Ow! Oh, I'm having a lovely bowl of jelly deals. <laughs> right, don't do that at university. Oh, how should I do it? Just much more like this. I'm having a lovely bowl of jelly deals. <laughs> <laughs> Eight dressed. Right, I've got me for that cat on. I've got me Stanley knife. I'm off to Magdalen College, Cambridge. No, 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 my lads. You most certainly are not. <laughs> Magdalen might be at Oxford. I don't know. I don't concentrate on things like that. <laughs> and, and conducted personal relationships. That's the entire gamut of that. All right, Ma, how's it going? Don't talk. Hello, Mother. How are you? Right, you're in. <laughs> Every area of their life's got to be changed. Bright working class children are less likely to apply to top universities because they're worried about not fitting in. Especially now, I've <laughs> seen this. I think their entire nature has got to be altered. Free lavender. Lavender. You fucking stuck up bums. <laughs> Would you like some lavender? <laughs> right, if you want to get in a university, smother yourself in lavender. All right, I'll count me first day, ain't I? Well, you smell nice. Come in. <laughs> 
Baby Mal. Should older women ever say yes to no string sex? Yes. <laughs> I think also. If you're involving strings in sex, there's something very wrong with you. Uh, hey, we're going to have sex. Will there be strings? My, I would say so. I'm going to bind my balls up with twine till they look like a Turkey shop window. Um, what else is going on? Oh, God. I think I'm becoming, you know, you're meant to become more right wing as you get older. I'm turning into some sort of Marxist murderer. Because my reaction to that, a perfectly pleasant royal family picture, was to smother them with some sort of toxic paint. I just wanted to slosh it on them. Look at him, little boy wearing, dressed in a wedding dress. Why'd they keep dressing the wedding dress? He'd get in university, no trouble, this boy. There you go, there's our son. Oh my God, he's in a wedding dress. <laughs> the way he generally deals is with chopsticks. He's immaculate. The Queen's go-ahead for George and Wills to fly together on tour. What? What does it mean? The Queen has given her personal permission for Prince George to travel with his parents on the first official royal tour. Right, we're going on tour. What are we going to do? Just patronise people from the Commonwealth, like try on their fucking bracelets and that. I might even sort of, there might be a bit where I sort of, in a sort of a jolly way, do a tribal dance. This is good. This is what the world needs. Is there anything else we could do in? Could be doing is there? No, I don't think so. Well, it's just before we go and dance off with African folk in. <laughs> And that, there ain't nothing happening in uh, Europe that we should be could be. No, I don't think so. No tensions at home between the religions? No, that's all fine. Not per, uh, poised on the precipice of war? No. Right, OK, I'm going to dance around with uh, some African folk then in a patronising way. That's the best thing you can do. Can we take George? I give my personal permission. Fresh fields for the walking man's crumpet. See, as well, there's that sort of underlying, sort of titillating... It's like everything, like it's a picture of a nice looking lady, she's eating something. So it's, it's sort of, it's trying to get you, I think the state the Daily Mail wants you to be in is one of sort of, like sort of sexually fueled suspicion. Like you don't really trust anybody, but you're only a bit turned on. <laughs> oh, I see that Wills is going to Africa. <laughs> like sort of ideally, they want you to sort of be wanking without anyone seeing. Like your hands down your knickers. <laughs> Just like that. It's trying to generate a sexual tension. The sun is at least a bit baldy. Oh, yes, no, I've seen it. The Telegraph. Sex is not an option. Get into your grave. Paying for sex should be a crime, say MPs. Well, they fucking know. Who is stealing Britain's post boxes? <laughs> no one. No one's doing that, so don't worry. And if they are, I don't think it's very important. The fact that the crime took place opposite a quiet 14th century church, which is the final resting place of the artist Henry Cobald, designer of the penny black stamp, is an irony almost certainly lost on his perpetrators. I think it would be more astonishing if they paused to reflect on that. Hey, yeah, what? Well, you realise while we're wrenching this post box out of the concrete, that in a final irony, it's immediately adjacent to the cemetery where the creator of the penny black Ah, it's every cobalt to state the rest. Should we be doing this? In a way, it's a kind of tribute. So there you go, Daily Mound. Uh, sort of middle class anxiety, sexually fueled, break down all public institutions and uh, worship the royals, the sort of tribal chieftains. Daily Ter Telegraph are all doomed. The sun. But then look at this, I'll just say this actually, like, look, I'll just pick it random from this book, some information. Uh, that might be useful to you as a human being coping on your short time on earth before you die. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Creating thoughts, holding on to thoughts, recalling thoughts, generating emotions, controlling emotions and disciplining powerful and inner drives all require tremendous expenditure of energy. Where does all the energy come from? Why is there energy inside you sometimes and not at other times? Have you noticed that when you're mentally and emotionally drained, food doesn't help that much? Conversely, if you look at the times in your life when you're in love or excited or inspired by something, you were so filled with energy that you didn't even want to eat. The energy we're discussing does not come from the calories your body burns from food. There is a source of energy you can draw upon inside. It is distinct from the outer energy source. All these things are tie us to the external material world instead of helping us journey within ourselves where there is a limitless source of power which we could use to change the world. This is the truth. Regret the name already.